Let's pray. Oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. I thank you and pray for each child listening to this lesson today, Master. Oh Lord, help these kids to understand your words, Master. With you, all things are possible. We pray for your grace so that we may do good works in your name. Help us to submit ourselves in your hands completely, Lord. In Jesus' most precious name, I pray. Amen. Hello, my dear kids. How are you all doing today? I am sure you all having good time at home. But still, you all must be missing the cool monsoon now. As you can't go outside, can't get wet, can't jump into puddles, right? Even I am missing all these fun due to the lockdown. But don't worry, our Lord will make everything normal back soon, alright? So now let's look into the last lesson and its memory verse. So the last lesson was Jonah's ship journey. And we saw how Jonah first disobeyed God and gets into the big fish belly and later how he prayed and obeyed God and did what God wanted him to do. So let's see the memory verse. Now the Lord provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah. Taken from the book of Jonah chapter 1 verses 17a. So I'm sure you all are learning the memory verses too and also the songs and the action songs which I'm sharing and which the last song also which I shared with you okay so now before seeing the next lesson tell me something have you seen a blind man anytime yes I'm sure you must have okay so do you know what all difficulties they have yes they have to be very careful when they walk they have to be very careful in each and everything they do they face a lot of challenges in their life so next time whenever you see them first you give thanks to god that god has given you eyes to see and then you always try to help them okay so our next lesson is also about somebody who had lost his sight Let's see chapter number 14, Vision of Soul, Saul, on page number 91. And the Bible portion for the lesson is taken from Acts chapter 9, verses 1 to 9, and also Acts chapter 22, verses 6 to 13. So please go through the passage before you go to the next one. Okay. So, a long time ago, in the city of Tarsus, there lived a young man called Saul. He was an angry man and did not believe in Jesus. And also he had got permission to punish and kill those people who believed in Jesus and preached about Jesus. And also he used to threaten them. So I'm sure you kids don't want to be like Saul when you grow up, even will not want to have a friend like him, right? So one day, Saul was traveling to a city called Damascus. Do you know why he was going there? Hmm. Because he wanted to punish all the Christians of Damascus who were living there. He wanted to make them all prisoners and he was not alone there but he was uh, with them with him there were soldiers so as he and his men were on the way suddenly there was a big bright light came out of heaven which Saul had ever seen and Saul fell to the ground then he heard a voice Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Saul heard the voice but could not see anyone. Then he asked, Who are you, Lord? Then he heard a voice again saying, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. 
Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. Saul got up but he could not see anything as a light had blinded him. So the people who were with him took his hand and led him to the city of Damascus. Saul stayed there for three days without being able to see anything and not even eating any food. Saul understood all his mistakes now. Now Jesus sent one of his disciples named Ananias. And Ananias loved God very much. And Ananias used to live in Damascus. And he went to Saul, as per God Jesus told him. And Ananias placed his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, receive your light sight. Immediately, Saul got back his sight and began to believe in Jesus. Then he changed his name to Paul. Paul preached to everyone about Jesus who loved him and changed his character. So this story tells us that God can completely change a person's life when they believe in Jesus. Now let's look into the keywords. Saul. Saul was one who did not believe in Jesus. But after God transformed Saul and changed his name to Paul, he preached to everyone about Jesus. Damascus, the place where Saul was transformed by God. Christians, Christians are those who follow Jesus Christ and his teachings. Ananias, Ananias, one of Jesus' disciples who helped Saul to get back his sight. Now let's look into the questions and answers. Who went to Damascus to hurt the followers of Christ? Saul. Why did he go? Because he wanted to make prisoners of all the Christians who were living in Damascus. What happened to Saul on the way? As Saul was nearing Damascus, suddenly there was a bright light flashed on him and he fell to the ground. Then he heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? So what happened to Saul? He could not see anything and became blind. Who spoke to Saul? Jesus Christ. Who did Jesus send to give sight to Saul? Ananias. What changes took place in the character of Saul who got back his sight? He began to believe in Jesus. He was a new man. Saul changed his name to Paul and become, became a great follower of Jesus and preached everyone about Jesus. What did Saul change his name to? Paul. Now, um, this you can do at home with your elders help. So here you have to learn the conversation and you have to follow this. Okay. Next. Uh, so, uh, so this is the coloring activity and there are some questions like, what changes took place in the character of Saul who got back his sight. Saul's name changed, changed to Paul. He became a uh, great follower of Jesus and started preaching to everyone about Jesus who loved him and changed him. Who held in it? Yes, Jesus, the son of God. Why? Because he can believe in Jesus and share his faith with others too. Okay. So this is Jesus' book, uh, picture where you can color, which you can color. Okay. Next, the decisions what, which you should take from the lesson. You can repeat after me. I will stay close to the Lord 
and stay far away from sin. I will follow Jesus always. So these both decisions and the questions I have clubbed from week 1 and week 2. So next let's look into our memory verse. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. Taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verses 17 8. I repeat, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. Okay, so learn this memory verse. And again, uh, this is fill in the missing alphabet. You can fill this. Who said to whom? Who are you, Lord? Saul said this to Jesus. Get up and go to Damascus. Jesus said to Saul. Brother Saul, receive your sight. Yes, Ananias said this to Saul. Next. Who is hurt when we do wrong? Yes, God is hurt. Whenever we do wrong, God is hurt. Okay, so why does God come in search of us even then? Because God loves us and has a purpose and plan for each one of us. Okay, so this is again a coloring activity. You can color this as Saul and Jesus talking to him. So now is song time. I hope you all like this song. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for being with us and thank you once again for this beautiful day. Oh Lord, may your bright light shine on each of us. Oh Lord, change us and bring us close to you. Help us to see you in our lives always, Master. Be with each and every child of yours. O oh Lord, I pray for all our Tirmis, Achins and their families and all teachers. 
bless this whole nation master bless this whole world master as everyone is going through some of the other challenges of their own take care of everyone master keep us close to you and we thank you that we believe in you help us to share your love and faith in you with others too in jesus most precious name i pray this prayer amen may god bless you all thank you